Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video, we have another challenging question from Radical Mathematics. We have to find fifth root of 76 plus 44 root 3. So let's get started by writing this fifth root equal to x first. Now one thing is sure, x should be greater than 0. Now I will raise both sides, power 5. Now this fifth root and power 5 will be over. So we will be having x power 5 value. This will be equal to 76 plus 44 square root 3. Let us consider y power 5 also. Which will be equal to 76 minus 44 root 3. Let's add both the equations. So x power 5 plus y power 5, it will be equal to 76 plus 76, so 152 and I will call this is my equation 1. Now let's check the product also, x power 5 times y power 5. So I can write 76 plus 44 root 3 times 76 minus 44 root 3 a plus b a minus b so we can write it is 76 square minus 44 root 3 whole square 76 square is 5776 and this is 5808 so this difference is minus 32 which i can write minus 2 whole power 5 so left hand side is xy whole power 5, right hand side is minus 2 whole power 5. After taking fifth root both sides, we will get our equation number 2, it will be xy equal to negative 2. So here we have our first equation x power 5 plus y power 5 152 and second equation is xy equal to negative 2. Let's solve this new system of equation. So I will be writing here x power 5 plus y power 5 equal to 152 and x times y equal to negative 2. Now from this equation can we write y equal to negative 2 over x and then we will substitute here in equation 1. So we will be having our equation as x power 5 plus y it is minus 2 over x whole power 5 and RHS is 152 or I can write x power 5 minus 32 over x power 5 it is equal to 152. Now I will consider our substitution. So I will be writing here x minus 2 over x. It is equal to a. So I can apply one condition on a. If I will write 76 plus 44 root 3. This is our x power 5. It should be always greater than 32. 76 is greater than 32. So this will be greater than 32. So left hand side is x power 5. It should be greater than 2 power 5. Conclusion is x is greater than 2. Once x is greater than 2, then 2 by x will be less than 1. So a will be always positive. Now I will consider squaring and cubing of this equation x minus 2 over x equal to a and then we will utilize our equation number 3 x power 5 minus 32 over x power 5 equal to 152. So let me write here x minus 2 over x whole square it will be equal to a square and then I will be calculating x minus 2 over x whole cube and this will be equal to a cube. Let's consider squaring first. So x square 
प्लस फोर ओवर एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फोर दिस विल बी इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर सो आई कैन राइट फ्रॉम हेयर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फोर ओवर एक्स स्क्वायर दिस वैल्यू विल बी इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर प्लस फोर नाउ आई विल कंसिडर क्यूबिंग ए माइनस बी होल क्यूब सो ए क्यूब माइनस बी क्यूब माइनस थ्री ए बी टाइम्स ए माइनस बी सो लेटस राइट ए डायरेक्टली एक्स माइनस टू ओवर एक्स इज ए equal to a cube so from here x cube minus 8 over x cube x and x will be over so this is minus 6a equal to a cube or we can write x cube minus 8 over x cube this will be equal to a cube plus 6a now i will take product of these two equations x square plus 4 over x square x cube minus 8 over x cube let us multiply both so i will be writing here x square plus 4 over x square in one bracket in other bracket x cube minus 8 over x cube right hand side i will be writing a square plus 4a and second bracket i will be writing a cube plus 6a now you can see it is equal to a square plus 4 only now you can see once i will multiply one by one let me write here x square with x cube i will be having x power 5 4 over x square with minus 8 over x cube so minus 32 over x power 5 and this value we will write 152 now further i will consider the cross product so 4 over x square times x cube it will be 4x and x square times minus 8 over x cube it will be minus 8 over x right hand side i will get a power 5 6a cube plus 4a cube so 10a cube plus 24a now this is 152 here i will take four common so in bracket we will have x minus 2 over x which will be a equal to a power 5 plus 10a cube plus 24a so i can write 152 plus 4a equal to a power 5 plus 10a cube Plus twenty four a. Now take all the term to RHS. I will write our quintic equation as a power five plus ten a cube twenty four minus four plus twenty a minus one fifty two equal to zero. This is one quintic equation. I will use synthetic division method and rational root theorem to solve this. so let me write our equation once a power 5 plus 10a cube then it was 20a with plus sign minus 152 equal to 0 now i will write the eligible factors of constant written term it is minus 152 so factors will be plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 4 plus minus 8 and so on and so on and leading coefficient we can write only plus minus 1 now i will plug in a equal to 1 will it satisfy 1 plus 10 plus 20 minus 152 no it is not let us apply a equal to 2 so 2 power 5 32 2 cube is 8 times 10 80 20 times 2 40 Minus 152, so 80 plus 40, 120 plus 32, 152. Yes, it is true. That means a equal to 2 is our base solution. Now I will use synthetic division method to find out remaining real roots. So I need to write here coefficients of 
this quantic equation coefficient of a power 5 1 coefficient of a power 4 0 coefficient of a cube 10 coefficient of a square 0 coefficient of a 20 coefficient of constant term it is minus 1 5. so i will be considering leading coefficient as it is 1 now let's take product 2 times 1 2 addition of 0 and 2 it is 2 2 times 2 is 4 14 28 28 56 76 152 0 so here we have coefficients for quartic equation let us write i will be writing a power 4 plus 2a cube plus 14a square plus 28a plus 76 equal to 0 as we can see all the coefficients of this quartic equation you can see it is positive so none of the real positive value will satisfy this so i will write conclusion from here a should be negative but the condition on a was a should be always greater than zero that means complex solution will be here so we can write if we will solve we will get complex solution so reject it so which value we are going to accept it is a equal to 2 and a was our substitution a was x minus 2 over x equal to 2 let's multiply both sides by x so x times x minus 2 over x it is equal to 2 times x so x square minus 2 equal to 2x x square minus 2x minus 2 equal to 0 so this is one quadratic equation we can use quadratic formula let us apply x is equal to as per formula minus b plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac over 2a let's apply all the values of a b and c here so i will write equation once x square minus 2x minus 2 equal to 0. Let's apply. Minus of minus 2. So 2 plus minus under the root. Minus 2 a square is 4. Minus 4 ac it will be plus 8. Over 2a so 2. 2 plus minus square root 12. Over 2. 2 plus minus. This is 2 root 3. Over 2. So we are having. 1 plus minus root 3. So we have two real values of x. 1 plus root 3 and 1 minus root 3. Let me write here. And 1 minus root 3. But condition on x was there. x should be always greater than 0. So we will reject this solution as this is negative. And this is positive. So we will accept our solution as root 3 plus 1. So our final answer for this question will be root 3 plus 1. And this brings the end of the video friends. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself and bye bye.